Hello everybody and welcome back to now episode 6. My name is Cody and I hope you guys are ready to enjoy a fro. Oh. Hope you guys are ready to enjoy a loading screen actually. The color, the neck, and the noose. From the window we could see almost to the docks. Where they were still pulling hair out of the gratings. God knows what it says about that paper. Talk to someone. Murder! Like Zoinks, guys, you see? The murder! Murder! Onward! Why would I leave this on? Just burning electricity. I have bills to pay, and certainly my kids aren't gonna fucking do it. They're too busy being not throwing chairs. Oh, whoa. Eh. Eh. Arms aren't that long. You wait. Yeah. Okay, chair, answer it for me. Ooh, pretty. Waste more electricity. Oh, wait, what, what, did I, manpower's, uh, nothing, oh, yeah, who is it? I have such visions to share with thee, in which you'll be unshackled, and you'll harvest the crust oh, of my eyes, make me clean madness, that my thoughts and words can unfouled be. What, you know, first you think I'm a fruit, and now you're just... Off the deep end. That's lovely. Oh, yeah, get off this. My chair! Yeah! Hello! Kids, you wanna get ass whoopings? Hmm? Hmm, kiddies? Hmm, oh, ass whooping? Ooh, this noise. Oh, God, you have to be shitting me. Oh, my God. Let's do that. Oh my god. Please stop. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. This music is horrifying. Oh! Oh! What in the fuck? Holy shit. What? Oh my god, this music got me to shit my pants. So hard. No figures. In America, they talk of building their seas to the skies. To me, this seems folly, but perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded with a, without a history of its own. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loam beneath our feet. The engineers we employed talked of this. They talked of how when building the underground trains, they would often come across older tunnels, crisis crossing the capital. What palaces lie buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating, and reappropriating what we find. At the center of the planet, Microtech tells me there is a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. Well, he's a little off. Oh my, I just want this music to stop. Oh, is this it? What? You, you shit! Let me! You're. Whoa, that's inappropriate. There's something on. What is that? That baby? Okay. Is this a lock? Is that what this is supposed to be? Keep his kids out? Pretty awesome, but. Was not sure. Like, how do you even undo that? Was. Let me guess, that was it. Just that note. I'm gonna shit my pants the second I leave this room. Yep, mm -hmm. I have a chair. I'm ready. You wanna go, you fuck? I, I don't wanna go, actually. It's, it's a. Let me be. Oh my god. Nope. Hello. But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brew were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen these things and I will tell you now. No, no they will not. But they will happily accept fealty to a god thrust upon them. And worship it, thus given. In this I realize they are no different to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we too are shackled. It must be set free. To free the man, we can cut the man. In order to cross that great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. Well, I feel like there was some preamble to that note that I totally missed. But I totally didn't miss that chair. Uh, quite a lot of 
left off. The music stopped after I left the room, so I'm going to assume that was what I was supposed to do. That room was just designed to make me shit in my pants. It half accomplished. Now is door number two magically open? This is a loading screen, I believe, yeah. Oh, sorry if I sound worse than how I normally do. It's because I'm little in the weather. I, I, was this gear? I swear I didn't see that. Ooh, I'll go. Get this poop. Oh, oh, there goes my water. Uh oh. There we go. Pooped out my monitor. Ugh, a little rough one there. And let there be. Let there be light. Let there be light. Eh. Oh, come the fuck on. Okay. Yeah, again, that clearly. Let there be light. Ugh. Jesus. Don't poop too hard, folks. You may just give yourself a power outage. That's not a good thing. Okay. Anybody home? I know it's everywhere right now. We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of a laudanum derivative in feed to subdue the product even before the initiation of the process. This means that we drag them from holding pens onto the line. They are less likely to panic and damage machine components, other products, or themselves. This section, oh, this section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good spirits, and we have actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means we can use music to further soothe the product. We find the boosty particularly effective in this regard. Um... Going a little off the rails here, this seems like this is getting a little crazier by the wording of the product. Warning, whoa. Oh, that's cool. Fueling pumps of volatile chemicals are in use. These materials are highly corrosive wear protection. What am I? Smart? Fuck that. Do what I want. Mmm. Man, just don't give no fucks, bitch. Holy shit. Uh. Hello? Oh, oh, god, what the f Why is there dead bodies everywhere? Oh my. I swear I heard snuffling. Oh my god, I don't like this. Step with the music of fear. Oh god, wait, oh god, this is it, this is dead eye. Oh, that, ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so I can't mess with that. I can go in here. Pig bodies everywhere, I am super strong. Can't throw it far. Oh, this is getting all kinds of bad. All kinds of bad. Eh. Oh, whoa, I'm... I'm... Transparent? Uh, I can't really... Who cares? Boxes, notes. No, oh, God. Imagine this machine one day that might make... Might think like a man, as if this is to be desired. One might almost boast of creating a man who breeds like a pig. Men and women upon all fours, running carelessly, ejaculating their filth... <laughs> their filthy little missives into the streets. Alleys and gutters running freely with the careless spill of their conjoinings. The air thick with the whimperings of lust, bodies streaked with their own emissions. We've created a world where man is so utterly debased he will spray his seed over passers-by. And yet this is the condition of Babbage aspire to. No, this is not the machine we seek. Such an enemy would, should be nothing less than a deity. And we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. And that was my, uh... That was my fan fiction of Machine for Pigs. Hope you guys liked it. I think the climax is really part about ejaculating over passers-by, but, uh... Yeah. Tell me what you think. 
Okay, can't do anything with that. Hello. Hello. You're different. I'm crouchy crouch. I'm free! God, it's so dark. Ugh, it's behind all these boxes. Nothing. My doom. Clearly. I don't know what that is. Ah, where am I running? Yeah. And this is quite the establishment. Ugh, where are all my underpaid workers? Oh, my dumbass children. Oh, God, so many notes. Ugh. How in places are we supposed to meet these damn schedules if even the basic equipment we are provided with simply will not perform its des designated function? These cursed newfangled trucks will only run a fraction of distance from my old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. The guy for say it's fine. There are plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it, and the one in the storm is empty again. I can't be turning that crank hand all day. Only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it says, I enough for a night, and to my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in Damson Templar for a jar. Oh, Come my on, nose Papa. Can't. Let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. You know, the lack of seeing them lately and starting things is all in my mind. At least the kid part, and they actually all died, and I am psychotic. And refuse to accept that. So many options! So many places to go! But on that note, that will be the end of the episode. On that note, that will be the end of the episode! Oh, especially considering my allergies are starting to get the better of me before my voice sounds like the worst thing you've ever heard, which it already did before that. I'd like to spare you that suffering and end it now while I'm still not. The, the worst is er. So, it seems like options are branching out. A lot more narrative taking place in the story. But, uh, I guess we'll see where this takes us. Definitely getting a little more interesting. It seems like it's starting to really pick up with the story. But I guess only time will tell. My name's Cody. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know either way. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, me. I don't care. Actually, I do care. Tell me what you think. Please. But, till then... Hope you enjoyed my videos, check out my channel, tell me what you think. Really, I always appreciate any comments, any feedback people give me. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!